Kia ora and welcome to the show. This week we talked to internet party leader Lila Harray about her return to the political spotlight, plus we look back at some of the more entertaining moments from previous elections. With just two weeks to go, things are really getting political. This week in politics, it started with a hiss and a roar. Judith Collins gone as minister over allegations she was out for blood and digging for dirt on a public servant. I have today advised the Prime Minister that I am resigning as a minister. The latest Three News Read research poll shows National up and Labour down. The dirt from dirty politics is failing to stick to John Key and it's not giving David Cunliffe the oxygen he needs. There were leaders' debates galore, Cunliffe stumbled, unable to answer questions on his flagship tax policy, and out came Scrappy Key. Because buddy, it happens on your side and you know it. You can play the schoolyard larrikin all you like, but this is Christchurch. And speaking of larrikins, mother candidate Georgina Bayer lashed out at her party's visionary, Kim.com. Who's pulling the strings? (laughs) Well, the big man himself. That's it for this week in politics. If you're anything like me, the family dog will be Stephen Joyce. Then elections are like Christmas. Stephen, we're going to uh, take a, we're going to come back to the moment we see some action from the gate. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'm voting for the gate next time round. <laughs> Helen yeah. Clark, vote for Helen Clark's gate. I also want to. There's those long, sleepless nights. Who has trained for many years and become an outstanding professional. And you are standing there at the moment outside Helen Clark's house in the freezing cold, shooting a gate off your shoulder. You are probably thinking, what the hell am I doing? Sneaky junk food snacks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is what politics in New Zealand has been reduced to a live shot of the Prime Minister. Look, that was a cheery little affirmation. It's Pizza Hut. We'll, we'll be there. They will be delighted. Uh, John Key was delivered some pizza earlier. Then he came out and delivered the reporters and the crews some big, juicy strawberries. And it's always full of surprises. Okay, so what are you going to do now? Uh, I think I'm going to get married. What? You're kidding me. <laughs> Only time will tell what this election night will bring. There's been more sightings of Elvis in Tauranga than there has been of Winston today. It's not long to go now. When you think of the internet party, you probably think of this guy. But the party's leader, Lila Harry, has been in politics a lot longer. Let's find out more about her. Kia ora, I'm Lila Harry, leader of the internet party. Come on in. I became involved in grassroots politics as a 15 year old. Um, It was 1981, the Springbok tour, and I was out there marching on the front lines um, against apartheid and became very involved in the anti-nuclear movement. I would instantly change the change access to the internet. I would make it much cheaper and universally available. I'd also be putting into place a program for free tertiary education so that every New Zealander, every young New Zealander um, can develop their full potential in our education system without a cost barrier. Before we go, a reminder that it's fight night next Wednesday on TV3. John Key and David Cunliffe go head to head in the leaders debate at 8.30. Tweet us with any questions and keep up to date with election news right here on 3news.co.nz. I'm Tova O'Brien, see you next week.